Hey, this is Blind Fox, and welcome at my ration review. Please support the channel, please subscribe, and please go and donate on Patreon.com. So today we are going to do the dinner portion of our Ration Tech 2022. 24-hour, 3,200k cow ration, menu number 3. So they've got a little... Uh, uh, what do we call it? Ingredient shortage or component shortage this year. So it's really difficult to get or to order rations from them. If you're doing it in big job lots, you can still do it, but if you do it on their shopping site, it's very difficult. But well, let's see what we got in this one. So we've got a vegetable and beef casserole. We had the lamb one the other day and it wasn't bad. We actually had, I think, the lamb one cold as well and it also wasn't bad. I'm not going to do this one cold as well. I just don't feel like it. Now, they did it, they specifically state this and it's true you can eat these cold. The problem is it's really difficult to get all, everything out of the pouch if it's cold because the sauce has thickened a bit when it's cold. When you heat this up, the sauce thins out a bit and it's easier to pour it out of your pouch. But of course you can eat out of the pouch. There's a um, day notch and it's got it's gusseted so it can stand upright, so it can make a bowl. There's no second notch, as it had in the past. It had sometimes a second notch down here, but because they use stickers, it's it was, was really difficult to open this second notch. The first notch so far, these bags open quite nicely. And I'm not going to do all of the ingredients. We've got some, I think this is chocolate chip if I'm not mistaken. Chocolate chip cookies and sometimes I'm not going to read all of the ingredients. There is actually brown flour in and sort of very sneaky. But it doesn't really matter. Still nice and sweet. And black tea. Now, South Africa you will... Some countries they sort of ask you the type of tea. Here it's sort of black or rooibos. Just black just means it's actual tea. Roy since rooibos, according to tea snobs, isn't a tea, it's a herb drink. But this black tea means it's actual tea as in people think of tea. It's not a herbal drink. This can cover, cover multiple varieties of tea. You don't have to state what, which one it is. If it's black tea, it's just normal tea. Rooibos is rooibos, honeybush is honeybush, and I think there's another one as well. Uh, yeah, well, that's basically those. And then you will get your fancy flavor teas, and then you will say flavor teas. And But normal places, if you see tea, there's normally just rooibos or black tea, and black tea can include any variety, old grey, five roses, whatever you want to name it, you can have it there. You don't have to specify the type. Although they do specify it sometimes when you have an actual selection of teas. But if you are in South Africa and on the menu says black tea, it can be any variety of actual tea. Otherwise it will say rooibos or the type of tea. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to heat this up in boiling water. Open this. And I think there is sort of three biscuits in there and do the tea and I'll see you just now. So while we wait, there's just a salt and pepper. Let's check out our cookies. Not very broken, although I think one of them... Well, no, not really. It just fit in there nicely. Three nice and big cookies. You can actually see chocolate chips. They're not overloaded with chocolate chips. Crunchy, buttery. Just enough chocolate, enough chocolate chip in there so that you know you're eating a chocolate chip. Because it's not overwhelmingly sweet, which I like. Of course, you get such a lot of sweet stuff for breakfast. But you can still taste the sugar. This does taste more shortbread to me than a cookie. Very much a shortbread structure. Um, you can still taste sugar in there, you can taste it. Now let's check out the tea salon. 
there's just normal black tea. Not bad cookie and it goes well with the tea. <coughs> Only thing, there's three cookies in here that you can't close the package so if you open it you have to eat the three cookies. Else you will just, you might just maybe roll it up in, the, in one of these bags <coughs> to keep it see or relatively close. You could do that. Let's see, will it fit? I don't actually think it will, but maybe it will. Yeah, will it fit? It just will fit. So you can actually put your cookies in one of these bags if you don't finish them all, but only one will fit at a time and you can fold it up and save one or so for later. Two won't fit in there. No, this is just normal black tea. And it goes well with the cookie, so you can have your little tea in the afternoon. Or just when you wait for your food to boil. Or for your food to finish boiling. And that's what we are going to do, uh, wait a few minutes for the food to get boiled. Or hot anyway. I popped it in boiling water, I didn't put it in the microwave today. I wasn't feeling like it, so it's nice. It, and it, besides, if it's hot, it pours much easier out of the bag. And it's 400 grams of food, that's why it looks like there is such a m minimalistic or minimal amount of food here, but if you look at the portion size of that stuff, it's 400 grams. Which I think is, uh, is it almost double the US, that's in the US MREs? I think they are 200 and something grams. I'm not sure, but... It's anyway 100 grams more than the French ones, so it is a large amount of food. So let's go and get it. Alright. And here is our casserole. There's rice in here, there's um, carrots, there's potatoes, there's um, there might be butternut in there, there's some uh, beef. Um, Corn or sweet corn, um, carrots, I think peas and beans is maybe as well. And rice, I think I said rice. There's some other carrot or a butternut. Very saucy, <coughs> this means this can be eaten cold. Rice, not very structured, but the meat here is. The meat is real and it is funnily enough for them in little pieces. Rice is soft, it might as well vegetables is soft. The potato again, funnily enough, holds its form. It's not as soft as it can be. So here the, your structure is given by your potatoes, your meat. The rice is very soft, the sweet corn is very soft, the other vegetables are very soft. Real meat, a bit chewy, which in effect is good because um, the, the rice and stuff is so soft, very saucy, it tastes a lot like the mutton stew. I just know there's a difference because um, they say so. The is some fat, I think they put extra oil in here and you can taste the fat on your, um, in your mouth, so it is a bit fatty. But it tastes nice, it's nice to savoury taste. Might be a little cumin -y. Slight cumin taste, maybe. They don't say what spices they use. But it's not a bad taste. It's just a normal, saucy, flavorful taste. And this could be eaten cold. The flavor then will not be as strong as it is now. It will be a bit boring. Um, and there's like all of this stuff. You can add extra salt and pepper. As I said, South African rations. Not a lot of salt added. I think it might be a deliberate thing. It does those two things. It keeps your ration healthier. And because we don't use a lot of preservatives, I don't know, I don't think it makes that difference in self shelf life. Um, and there is tend to be a lot of high blood pressure sufferers, I think, in South Africa. Uh, so it will help for that as well. And yeah, it's just, and you can add extra salt if you need them. 
That's what I like about these raisins, they're not overly salty. But it tastes nice and savoury. Get it nice and hot, it will be nice on a hot day, uh, the cold day. The extra fat or oil in here will help you with your energy stuff. And having this extra little bit of oil will keep it much more smoother and when and it's cold you will, will not be as dry. And the sauce in here of course also helps. It does when you heat it up it does sort of make the sauce more runny and easier to eat. But the amount of sauce here is not overly much amount of sauce. It sort of sticks to everything still. But if it's cold it will still be enough sauce so that it's not dry and choking you when you eat it. You can actually feel it in the packaging. It's liquid, it moves about. It's not as stiff as some of the packaging you get. Especially not the in so like the some of the uh, military style or the SA in the F style rations. But I'll describe that maybe in another episode. <clears throat> so that's that. So, and this was the dinner portion of the 2022. Um, ration tech 24 hour 3200 kcal ration menu number three and if you order it it might not be the, exactly the same components here but the, the civilian rations they tend to sort of change some of their components in the rations you can of course order stuff from them directly in big job lots and then you get a more consistent bunch of components but if you order from their website, it's just as it is available and left over from their big um, supplying stuff since they are actually big supply. They supply to big job lots of people in big job lots. You're just lucky if you can get some other rations on the side from their shop if there's stuff left. I hope I can get some of the other rations as well. So thanks for watching. Please support the channel. Please subscribe. What did I think about this? I like this. The cookie was nice. The tea was normal black tea and from the other rations the, we did have the chicken pasta. This time I squashed it and it tastes better because your um, moisture can get into the chicken much better. The, the rest of the stuff is very much the same as we had in other rations. The fruit cubes was not... I think we had fruit cubes. Was this the previous one? No, I can't remember. Did we had fruit cubes in this one? I can't remember that far back. Uh-huh. Oh no, we had the muesli looking. Oh no, yeah, we think you had the muesli one. But that was nice, the breakfast was nice, everything was nice. So thanks for watching. Please support the channel. Please subscribe. Please go and donate on patreon.com and see you at my next ration review.